Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to remove a subject from a picture or how to give a transparent background to your picture. So as you can see here, I have this picture of a cat and of course I was shooting downward and then there's some people's feet. But I chose this picture actually because this will be incredibly difficult to achieve a good cutout of the cat one that looks right. In GIMP, background removal is a little bit more frustrating than it is in Photoshop. Um, it's a little bit more manual. There's not one tool that will just do it for you uh, unless someone has created an add-on that I don't know about. If you know about an add-on that will do it for you, then I would love to have that. So let me know. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate my image. So Control Shift D and then I'm going to turn off the background image and that I've just done so I can save my previous image so we can compare in the end. Next, I'm going to duplicate the new image again, Control Shift D, and then on both of these images, I'm going to right click and come down to add alpha channel. It's good to add an alpha channel just because we're going to need a transparency in order to cut the cat out from the rest of the picture. So there's kind of two ways that we can do this. We can do it the destructive way and the non-destructive way. I'm going to show you the destructive way first, and that is to go ahead and select our lasso tool and then choose a radius that best fits you. I'm going to choose a radius of two. And then let me just go ahead and go ahead and come around here. Okay, so I'm going to finish off like that. And then the destructive way would just be once you've selected your area, you can hit uh, delete. And you can see that I've deleted the background here and the background is deleted. And I would just go in there with the erase tool and try and fine tune my erasure. The Problem is when I do this, the chances that I will erase something that I don't want to erase and then be unable to bring that information back and then have to go back to my saved image here at the beginning to get a new to bring those pixels back is pretty high. Thankfully, GIMP does have a masking system. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this top image, turn on that first image that we duplicated, and let's go ahead and do the non-destructive method. So the first thing that we're going to do is just go ahead and, and add in a white full opacity layer mask. So now if I take my paintbrush tool and go ahead and make it big, you can see that I can actually paint away the mask to reveal transparency beneath. And then I'm going to make sure that I have my image selected and duplicate that one more time, Control Shift D, and then right click and delete that layer mask. So I'm just left with the image. Next, we're going to come here to Colors, Desaturate, and Desaturate, and click OK. Now that this is in black and white, it's easier to determine what parts of the image are going to be simpler and what parts are going to be more difficult. So right here where the cat's the back of the cat's head meets the wood flooring those tones are very similar same thing with the side of the cat's face and then the sock behind that so i just have to keep that in mind what i find the best way to to do this is we're, we're creating a mask we want everything everything inside the outline of the cat to be white and everything else in the image to be black so i can come here and go to levels what I'm going to do is try and use the Levels tool to differentiate the colors between the cat and the sock. So I'm going to grab the black color picker tool here and choose a color tone that's very close to where that this edge of the cat's face is. And then I'm going to grab the white color picker tool and choose a tone on the other side of the cat. Sometimes this might take a little trial and error and you can kind of change. Okay, so I'm going to first start off with that. And the reason that I'm keeping this is because I have really nice definition in the whiskers and kind of this, some of the hair that was coming off the side of the cat's face. Now, of course, up here at the top of the cat's head, that is an issue for me, but we will get there. So I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to duplicate this image again, duplicate the base image and right click and delete that layer mask and do the same thing. Go to colors and desaturate. Now that that image is desaturated, I'm going to do the same thing again. Just come here to Levels and grab a dark part of the cat and then use the black part here to kind of bring those colors in. So now we can see we have good definition here 
with the shoe. And we've got all of those hairs. So click OK. So now we have these two images. And you can see the top image, we've got a good definition of the cat's head. And the bottom image, we have a good definition of its body. So I'm going to use the top image here and use the U tool. Hit U to get the fuzzy select. And just go ahead and click in the black areas. And then turn that off and select my select the bottom image here. Hit P on my keyboard for brush. And then hit X to change my color from black to white. And then I'm just going to paint white in here in the body of the cat. And you might need to change the size of your brush to be able to get closer to those edges. Okay, and then I'm going to hit Control Shift A and make sure that all of that is set. And then here on this side of the cat, I'm going to go ahead and click U again and select the white. I select the white there. Just hold down Shift and keep selecting parts of the cat. Now on the top here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and grab my brush and just go ahead and do my best to outline this cat with a, a streak of white. And I'm not using anything crazy. I'm just using my mouse to try and outline the cat there. And I only really have to worry about the outline because once I have the outline, I can just take my lasso tool and just outline the cat right there. Hit Shift B and fill that in. Okay, last but not least, let's go ahead and grab a black color, hit P on my keyboard, and then let's just subtract away from around the cat's head. And again, you don't need to do the whole image. You just kind of need that little area. So, and then you can hit F on your keyboard and select the area using the lasso tool. Control Shift J. Then control I to invert that selection, shift B, and make sure my color is black, and delete all of that. Okay, so I have the cat's head and whiskers, um, and then I need the, the body of the cat. So I'm going to just come back here to this first image real quick and use the lasso tool to kind of select around where the cat is. I'm not worried about the head, just the body. Okay. And then I can go ahead and hit Control I to invert that selection and just do the same thing. Go ahead, okay? And then one last time, use that lasso tool and then fill that in with black as well. So now I can take this image and this image and merge them together. And the way that I'm gonna do that actually is I'm gonna uh, grab this image here and then using the fuzzy select tool, go ahead and select the white here. And then where it says uh, select, go to remove holes to get rid of all those holes that were in there. And then go ahead and turn that off and come down here to my original image and hit control I to invert that selection and shift B and add in black. And now you can see that we've deleted that. And then same thing. Here we can just hit U, grab that fuzzy selection, get rid of the holes, and then shift B, add that, oops, add that back in. So obviously we have a little bit of issues here. Let's go ahead and fix that. The best way to fix that is to just use your paintbrush tool and start off with a force of maybe 25 and zoom in to areas that have kind of this hair and using black, just go ahead very carefully. Now here with the, the ear, we wanna take the hardness and make it something much higher, maybe 90. And then one great thing to show you is here, this part of the ear has been erased, so I can just change the color to white and add that back in and then change the color to black to go ahead and erase the little extra that got added in. Okay, so this is what we started out with, was this cat here, and then this is what we ended up with, which all in all, I would say is a pretty good 
subject removal, considering all of this fur down here, considering these whiskers, and it looks like it took us even less than 20 minutes. Now, you could spend a lot more time. If you really wanted to be super accurate, then my advice would be to come in to where the cat intersects the background and you can really spend time going through and using that same technique of the, the, the levels tool to click on hairs to make them 100% white and then of course make the background 100% black. So anyway, I hope that this has been helpful for you. If it has, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.